Yeah, I just bought it in 2002. It's wild as hell that I had one and I junked it. Crazy, man. So basically, I, I found a 2002, I would say 10 years ago, in PA. And I never knew, I didn't know what the car was. So I was talking to the, to the guy and he was telling me the history of it. And I was like, I'll buy it. I brought it home, drove it around for a few months and the rear subframe rotted out. So I was living with roommates at the time and my landlord was like, my landlord was like, you can't keep this thing here. So I called everywhere and I was like, can you give me at least 800 bucks? You know, I had way more than that in it. And every junkyard was like, nope. I finally found one junkyard and they were like, yeah, we could give you uh 300. I was like, dude, you gotta give me four. Cause I wanted eight. I was like, I can't just take a loss like that. So the guy comes, he's like, he's like, all right, I'll give you 400. That is wild. Yo, I junked something like this. Isn't that crazy? But I was I was younger, I didn't know what I had. Like I said, I was li living with roommates and it was just a shit show, man. Now, now affording one of these, good luck. This thing is, it doesn't look that nice. Oh, I'm not a fan of the body kit on the front, but it's worth stupid money. Like the one that I junked first, the one that I junked in today's market with inflation being what it is, I guarantee you, you're not finding that car for less than five grand. Because it was all original. The guy that I purchased it from, he bought it. I think the car, yeah, mine was a 76. So the guy actually bought that exact car in like 78. So he was the second owner. And I was the third owner. 